Well, welcome back, guys, to Banjo-Tooie. Let's continue on. Alrighty, so last time we had just finished up at Grunty Industries, so now it's time to start the next world. Up next, we're heading to Hailfire Peaks. Now, this is a pretty interesting world, because half of the world is covered in fire. Oh, Gobby! Two years, finally I've made it to the warmth of lava world, with a belly full of water. Oh, have you now? Oh, good for you, Gobby. I'm sure we'll be coming to bother you later. But anyway, yes, half of this place is covered in fire, while the other half is covered in ice and snow. So that's pretty interesting. Now we're going to have to proceed quickly for this place because, well, you're about to see why. It's a little tent over there, but I don't think there's anything interesting there at the moment. Warning, trespassing and the exceedingly hot water are likely to be cooked. Or trespassers. Come here, yo. Oh, that didn't affect him. These guys are annoying. Hey, I don't recall you paying for a tour of my of my volcano. I'm gonna burn your furry hide. So yeah, some there's a dragon here and he's not too happy that you're trespassing, so he's gonna spit fireballs at you. Which isn't very nice. Doesn't look like there's anything really interesting down here. Alright, one of the main things to watch out while you're exploring this place is the fiery hands that pop out of the walls. They can only be hurt with Wonder Wing and with Ice Eggs. Come out. Gotcha. Well, here's Mumbo's place. Now, his house has a secret here. We're not going to go in there just yet, but I just wanted to open it up first. I believe it's a shortcut that leads to the to the icy side of this world. It, it's actually a shortcut into Humba Wumba's place. Now that's just a doorway that leads to the other side. You don't really want to go that way. At least not yet, anyway. I hear a Globo somewhere. There you are. Now, we need to come over by this building. Because once we do, it lures the dragon into attacking him. Revealing a flight pad. We're going to make use of that in just a moment. But first, let's hit the switch. Now, that's opened up a shortcut between that tent and the flight pad, so we don't have to go the long way around every single time. But yeah, if we want the fireballs to stop, we're going to have to deal with the dragons. It's kind of similar, similar to in Donkey Kong 64, where you reach the crystal caves. There's a giant club that's constantly causing uh, uh, cave-ins on you, and if you don't take them out, it'll just keep happening. So that's what we're going to do here. So we need to be flying up towards the highest point of this place, because that's what will lead to the dragon. There it is. Time to fight us a dragon. gonna need ice eggs for this fight. Oh. 
Chili Billy, Hot and Spicy Dragon. Ah, at last, you must be the pizza delivery boy. No, just the local Jiggy Hunters. Guys, I bet you've got my 12-foot spicy meat special in that backpack. Afraid not, Workface. Then I'll eat you instead. Alright, so we have to use these cannons to supersize our eggs against them. Brr, so cold. I'll soon have you licked. Oh, will you? So we just need to jump over his tongue. Oh, also, he can't hit you when you're behind the cannon. Just for the record. No. That Once you fire three eggs into a cannon, it disappears. Ow. Right, falling into the lava is generally bad for your health. One more hit, he's done for. And goodbye, Chili Billy. Enough, I've changed my mind. Forget the pizza, but I'm sure my brother will still want his. Hmm, I reckon I'll go get a couple of Big Al burgers. <laughs> Good luck, those things are gross. So unfortunately, just for defeating him, we don't get anything. We have to defeat his brother in order to get the reward. Oops. I needed to get some more ice eggs, but whatever. Now, we do need to be going to the ice site next, but before we do that, we're going to head to the train station. Which I believe is through this doorway. Oop, ow. Burned my feet. Alright, the train switch isn't actually in there, but there's still a reason to come to this place, certainly. Mainly because there's an empty honeycomb piece right here. have to go back to the flight pad because I think the train switch is somewhere along the, the wall of the Colosseum and for the record there is another kickball Colosseum in this place so more kickball shenanigans will be ahead of us ow right, uh, let's go this way because I believe it leads to a warp pad Yes, it does. Good. I see more music notes this way. Wait, no, that's not music notes. Yeah, it probably would have been better to take the warp pad, actually. Yeah, let's backtrack. Ow. Alright, I was way too close there. Alright, so let's get back to that flight pad, then we're gonna look for the train switch. Oh. 
I hope we can reach it right now anyway. I may have to do stuff first, but we'll check it out. may not actually be something we can do at the moment. But at least we'll check it out. Ah, there it is. Good. Good, now we can call Chuffy over. Could have actually just reached there from this side, but I forgot. Um, I think I'll go ahead and call Chuffy over later. For the time being, let's just go to the ice side. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yep. And I think I'm gonna die. Yep. Goodbye, Banjo. <laughs> that sucked. Good chance I'm probably gonna die in this world several times due to the lava. Anyway, as I was saying, let's get back to the ice side. Okay, so that's exceedingly hot water as well. Good to know. Oh, so it's, U it's that UFO again. Scanners indicate location of the evacuation found. Exterior door opening to enable manual viewing. Detecting Earthling crosswind. Be careful. Yikes. I calculate it's a long way down. Huh? What's going on? Keep ship steady! Uh oh. Activate jetpack! Ooh. Ow. Never mind. I'm okay. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. I'm dead. Oh, that's... That's unfortunate. That alien died. So anyway, welcome to the ice side of Hailfire Peaks. Now, there is another dragon on this side. It's Chili Billy's brother. And just like on the fire side, he's going to be spitting stuff at us until we deal with him. That switch looks rusty. You'll need more weight. Okay, then jam jars. What cheek. Fancy trespassing on, on my glacier without my permission. Or are you are you going to suffer? Oh boy, here they come. Ow. Uh, these guys are kind of funny. They're kind of like Bigfoots. 
Gotcha. Now there should be a warp pad around here somewhere. Ah, here it is. It's kind of embarrassing to admit it, but when I recorded this game several years ago, I completely missed that warp pad for the longest time, and I just did not know it was there. Eh, uh, go away. I'm trying to not get shot at. Want some of this? Didn't think so. Now, thankfully, we do have the fallproof Cheeto coat on, so we won't take any damage from long falls. Ooh, check this guy out. I'm big afoot. I have an enormous foot. That's nice. Yes, it is, isn't it? And if you try to steal my shoes, you'll be seeing it close up. But those shoes won't even fit you. I don't care. You're not having them. Oh, is that true? Well, let's just wait a moment. Ew, don't bite your toenails. Ooh, ow! Thanks. 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 <laughs> oh, my poor enormous foot! Where's the first aid kit? Alright, so well, that took care of him, so now we have access to the claw climber bolts. That's just what we need to pay a visit to the dragon of this world. Ow. Alright, that was a nice shot. Let's try that again. Okay, Dragon, we're coming for you. Okay, good, we made it. Now, I think this brother here is always the tougher of the two, no matter if you fight him first or not. Chilly Willy, hold an icy dragon. You must be the pizza delivery boy that beat up my poor brother. He tried to eat us. I suppose you'll be wanting pizza too? Yes, please, I ordered an anchovy deluxe. Well, tough, we've got none. I'm sure you have. Give me my pizza. <laughs> Alright, so on this guy, we use fire eggs. Hey, it burns! Let me have just a little taste. No! Go away! That wasn't supposed to happen. Silly me. Okay, let's try that again. This time without falling off the platform. Oh, 
Ha! Got you that time. Stop it! I don't want pizza anymore. I'll go and get takeout instead. Hold on, you frosty fool. We've beaten both of you now, so I reckon we should get a trophy. Trophy, eh? How about this? So we only got one Jiggy for defeating the both of them. Now, which way is it to the fly-through McJiggies? <laughs> but yeah, um, I would highly suggest taking care of both of the dragons first. That way you don't have to deal with them constantly spitting, uh, sharp chunks of ice or fireballs at you. Now the world's gonna be much easier to explore. Now there's a jam jar silo here that's for Kazooie only, so we're gonna have to split up. Now there should be some split up pads right across from the warp pad. Yep, there they are. Kazooie and get her up there. This is going to be an, um, an important ability for Kazooie. It's Glide! Now you're lifting no big fat bear, easy it'll be to glide through the air. Jump up high and then hold Z, don't need fly pads or feathers red. Uh, I guess it would have said Z in Brit- uh, how a British guy would say it. Okay, so Kazooie now has the ability to glide. We'll glide right over to this Cheeto pitch. I think we'll also send her through the Icicle Grotto. Gotcha! I think this leads to the Ice Grotto, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, good, it does. It wasn't the side I wanted to be on, but whatever. Hm. Those icicle things are kind of creepy. Let's see if we can get up there. Might have to jump from a higher elevation, and then glide there. Or what I could just do is... Ow! Jerk. We don't technically need to get Kazooie up there, we just need to send a clockwork Kazooie egg. And that gets us another Cheeto page. Ow! Quit it!
I think Kazooie has slightly less traction now that she doesn't have Banjo around with her. At least on ice. There's a shock jump pad. And a Minjo. Go away, Minjo. Good. Another warp pad. Now what we need to do in this cave is knock loose the stalactites. Just made a crash up across the gap there. Now there is a Jinjo right above us, but I don't think we can get to him just yet. Come on, Kazooie, glide. Please glide. Thank you. There's the treble clef. I don't think I can get enough enough height from down here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oops, alright, I'm dead. It might be easier to just in enter this cave from an, from an, uh, from the top angle. That way we don't have to worry about climbing up the icicles there. Ow. This might leave to the top part of the cave. Yes, it does. Good. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Careful there, Kazooie. So let's do a leg spring and glide, and that should get us to the Jinjo over there. Yeah, there we go. That'll get us back to Banjo.